Hello and welcome to Acid Suck Tips. Today's video is going to start off um, where I will explain to you how to create a snapshot of your operating system's disk and how to restore that snapshot should your disk run into any troubles. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so the tool that we're going to need for this is uh, a tool called Drive Snapshot. This is what I use and it would be what I would recommend. Uh, Drive Snapshot is a really nice little small tool. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It's not very expensive. You will need to pay for it. And you can get it from drivesnapshot.de. It's available in English and in German. And you can click here to download. And the cost is 40 bucks. Well worth it. It truly is a really, really good tool. Not only that, an awful lot of boot CDs that are out there, Ultimate CD, Not Full CD, Hiram's Boot CD, has Snapshot um, built in. So if you do need to get a graphical recovery environment, you can always use one of those free boot CDs and have Drive Snapshot already installed for you to do your restore. So moving on, download and install. And once you've got it, open it up. Actually, I'm going to do a fresh download because there is a slightly newer version. Okay, so here we are. Now, let me just check that I've got a, an external disk connected. Good. Let's check to see if it's gotten through. Here we are, excellent. So, to do a backup, you will need to connect to either an external network share or an external USB disk. I'm going to use an external USB disk. Here we can see we have our disks. So you can see all of the disks that are in your system. This here is the operating system. You can see C, C. And this one here is the boot drive. You're going to need to back up both of these in order for your uh, entire disk to be restored properly and bootable. So hold down the control key and you'll be able to select also the other disk, or sorry, the other partition. Click on next to continue. Select your destination. click save. You can enter in a password if you wish to protect and encrypt your backup. I'm going to leave it out for this tutorial to try and keep things quick. Click on start copy to start. Now of course depending on the, the age and the speed of your computer and of course the size of your disk will determine the amount of time that this will take. Generally speaking it doesn't take a very long time for me, it's always been in or around 15 to 20 minutes for my relatively large disk, which is 250 in total. So I'm going to pause you here now and let this work away. OK, so as we can see here, our snapshot backup has completed. I'm going to click on OK. And let's take a look at the files that have been backed up. So here we are. This is all of um, all of the backup of the boot disk and the C partition, my entire operating system's hard drive. Um, if you take a look at the size, it's quite nice. It's, it's nice and small, 6.83, um, as opposed to what it currently is, which is as you can see here, 35, yeah. So now I'm going to shut down the machine and I'm going to boot into a live environment with the assumption that this disk is not working and we will do a restore.
Okay. Now I'm just going to open up my CD-ROM drive and I'm going to pop in a live boot CD. Hirens. Connect, power on, okay. Now for those of you who are not sure what Hirens is, you can go to hirensbootcd.org and read all about it basically it is a a pre-installed environment with a lot of really nice tools drive snapshot being one of them so that you can boot your P your computer or your laptop into this pre-installed environment and do some work like doing restore or recovery or stuff like that so that's what i'm doing now so let's power on our machine boot into XP mm, this does not look right I might have selected the wrong option yes mini XP my bad I'm connecting my USB disk. That's better. I'm going to open up Hiron's boot CD menu we want to go to backup and snapshot now let's click on restore disk from file and let's browse to our USB key I'm going to restore the boot partition first so we want to restore the partitions structure Restore the master boot record. And now I'm going to click on next. And we are restoring the boot partition now first. And after that, we will go ahead and do the C drive. OK, that completed. And now I'm going to restore the rest of my disk. I'm going to let that work away and pause you again and I shall continue when it is complete. Okay, so as we can see here, the restoration is complete. I'm going to click on OK and let us do a restart and see if our machine restarts. First, let's take out the CD-ROM drive. I'm sorry, take out the disk from the CD-ROM drive. Okay, um, disconnect. Cycle power. Let's take a look at the console. Excellent, and it's booting up. So now um, you should all know how to take a snapshot, how to save it, and in the event that your disk fails, how to restore it. Or if you lose a file or two, how to grab those files from a snapshot that's been taken. Let's see. Come on. Super. And we're in. There we are. Thank you all for watching. If you've got any queries or questions, 
um, please do not hesitate to send me an email and I'll gladly get back in touch uh, with the solution as soon as possible.